Okay, so I got a, a shoulder bone, and I believe this is out of a horse, but I can't remember. Anyway, it's big, so it doesn't really matter. So we taped it to the front of the gel block, so we'll shoot it and uh, see what that does whenever you hit bone. Now again, this is a gel block. It's not a deer standing there. I've seen this before to where people take this stuff to the nth degree and say, well, a gel block is the only way. And let me tell you something, when it goes to flesh, it's a whole different game. So we're looking at this to, to show what the damage can do in muscle tissue mostly, but we're also gonna do game testing and hopefully we get that soon. So let's get this shot, because I'm cold. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put the safety off and that way it will fire. I hit it. It's always good to see shrapnel. I mean, look at this. All right, so I don't know how we did that, but we did. You can see, automatically we get a different result when you hit bone. We get more penetration out of the, uh, the jacket here. You can see the jacket into here. And you get a lot, a lot of damage at the very beginning of the gel block. I mean, if you see that, I mean, that is just blown apart. The cool thing about powdered metal bullets is, is that when they hit something, they destroy it. So we get some really good terminal damage, which, you know, you want. Um, that 450 has a lot of, has a lot of uh, oomph when it hits the gel block, but we're only shooting a 170 grain bullet. So we may need to up the ante and make one a little heavier. So. Stay tuned, we're gonna have these for sale pretty quick. Uh, we should be getting boxing today. So today's Monday, and uh, we should be able to have them on the website today or tomorrow.